Okay, so I'm going to show you one of the most amazing time savers possible with ChatGPT if you're a teacher who has to grade a lot of essays. So here's a few just prompt ideas. General feedback, focus on a specific skill. You can do an, you know, analyze for a specific writing style. And you can ask for revisions. I teach graduate courses for teachers and they're very reasonably priced and they're very high quality. So check out the link below if you're interested on getting up on that pay scale. Teachers need more money and this is one way you can do it. But anyway, I always go through and read all of my coursework. I, I just always do that. And I love a lot of what teachers write about, but I don't always have like that gusto to give them really high quality feedback. So this is the first time I'm actually trying this, to be honest. I'm going to put in what they've said, and I'm gonna go over here, start a new chat, and I'm gonna tell the chat, I wanna give encouragement to this teacher. Okay, now this might seem like a lot of effort, like I've gotta put in all of these instructions, but I could actually design a prompt so that every time I put in a question, it treats it the same way. And I, you do that with a variable, okay? So I'm gonna tell it that I want you to repeat this process every time I give you an essay. So I'm putting that in brackets, which you can use any brackets. It doesn't have to just be square brackets. Uh, this is just letting ChatGPT know, oh, hold on, in a previous video, I customized this, I, I just got to tell you this, I customized this where it has to address me as Queen Tanya, and I didn't think it worked, but it did. It said, of course, Queen Tanya. So that's pretty cool. Okay, that's, that's hilarious. I'm going to have to get a better name. I don't like being Queen Tanya. I'll come up with something else. But anyway, okay. So now it knows I have this variable essay and every time I go to this chat and give it a new chunk of text called essay, it's gonna repeat this and give me these, these comments. So, okay, so essay equals, and this is what the teacher had wrote. So let's just see how this works. Oh, okay, so now I can see it is doing this it's actually telling me what she's done. So it's giving me tips on how I could offer encouragement, but it's not directing it towards her. This is a little bit longer than I want, honestly. So, and you can kind of see how you refine this. And so, I'm actually refining it as I go right now because this is the first time I've done this. But now that I kind of know the different issues I'm gonna have, I can rewrite my original prompt with those specifics. So, and I will, I could say here, um, make it only one to two sentences and make sure it is directed as if I'm speaking it to the teacher. So I can add that and, and start a new chat with more specific instructions so that I wouldn't have to do this for every time. So here's a comment I can go use over here. So I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna leave a comment. I'll just, I'll just do this right here. Add comment. And there we go. Well, I would wanna capitalize that first sentence. So I'm able to give really high quality feedback that I actually mean and agree with and I don't have to type it all in there. So there you go. Now, let me go back just to remind you of all of the options because if you're a teacher, you're also needing to look at work for the grammar and you need grammar suggestions. So you could take that perspective where you want ChatGPT to look at a piece of writing and give suggestions for improvement. You could have it give feedback to make it more descriptive writing. You can also tell ChatGBT the age of your students so it doesn't go over the top because of course the feedback is going to be different if you're grading a fifth grader's work compared to when you're grading a graduate level work. 
you need to let it know kind of what it's looking for and what level of writing it is analyzing. Now, there's a whole nother realm here that actually is not even on here. I actually have this book that I sell. This is for teachers. This is all about prompting and different ideas. It's in my Etsy store. You can check it out, but I'm going to add a page that is solely for this purpose because I think it is so awesome. Okay, so let's say you have a quiz and the quiz is over Newton's first law. I'm a, I was a science teacher in the past, so that, that's kind of where my mind goes. All right, so here's how I have it set up. I've let chat GPT know that my students had an essay question. It was about Newton's first law and they needed to do three things to get a perfect score of 10. Define the law for four points, an example for four points, complete sentences for two points. I've let the chat know, I'm gonna give you their work. I want you to give them a score and I want you to give them feedback. I'm gonna send their work as a table and I want you to return your information, your response, as a table, okay? So I'm gonna give them some responses. Let's see how this goes. Wow. Oh boy, <laughs> tough. <laughs> Okay, finally, I was starting to think maybe they were all going to get poor scores, but we got a 10 out of 10 there. So so now you have a table. You could actually copy this into a spreadsheet if you collect your information that way, or you could just copy each response into your grading system. So, you know, if you do a test run of, say, 5 to 10 questions, you can kind of see where the limitations are with ChatGPT and go back and revise your prompt so that it's more accurate in the grading that you would actually do. So maybe this is too tough. So yeah, anyway, this is great. And let me just remind you that John Hattie has done a lot of research and the evidence is pretty clear that when kids get quick, specific and personalized feedback, they learn so much more and they can improve so much more. Teachers are swamped with all of the grading and everything they have to do. And I know some of you are thinking, oh, geez, I got to learn chat GPT now. My brain can't handle learning another thing. This is the thing that can make your life easier. Do it. Do it today. If you need other options, check out my Etsy store. I have digital downloads and I have also some cool shirts that are just cool. And check out the graduate courses that I teach because it will get you on board with all kinds of cool new ideas that can just spice up your classroom and invigorate your spirit. Because some of you, I know you're feeling so down and it, and it feels like there's just no solution. Don't give up. Try something new, do something different. Break the mold, break out of the prison of standardized testing and that, that fear and those limits that have been placed on you and do something new, do something better. Do something that's great for you, for your students, and for America.